Mid-American Conference football, getting very interested. Um, got some quarterbacks to talk about this week. Buffalo uh, is 5-1, and one, is still playing well. Tyree Jackson is still loading it up pretty good, and he's starting to get some NFL buzz. Um, uh, I really like him. Uh, have you seen him at all, or are you just been been kind of spot? I have. Spot I've read a lot about him. I uh -huh. mean, he's a big boy. He's, yeah. he's not. He's not a oh, no. one of those he's quarterbacks. Branson, where he's they're Branson's going to... favorite guy. Branson's really high on it. Six seven, two forty five, and he's starting to get some NFL, uh, some NFL buzz about him. Now uh, he has done. I mean, he has everything that you want to see oh, in a quarterback. He has sick, a gun for an arm. Uh, he has. Yes. Uh, he can run. Yes. He can move in the yeah, pocket. Moves he well in the pocket. Everything they, you like want. Like I say, he's he's getting a lot in. I mean, he's been Roethlisberger again in the MAC. Uh, you know, Byron Leftwich. You know, you go back a decade when we were talking about those guys. He fits that mold. And the the one thing about him is. Uh, now that, that the Mid-American Conference has had so many high draft picks in recent years, Khalil Mack, uh, again, Roethlisberger, Leftwich, that have, guys that have proven themselves and have played well in the NFL, you can't, uh, you know, the, the disclaimer, oh, he comes from a small college, really doesn't play anymore right. uh, uh, when you talk about these guys. They're Division I, top-level you know, uh, quarterbacks. No, they're not playing in, in, in 100,000 seat stadiums, but they're still quality players. I mean, Khalil Mack was the number four draft pick uh, in the country. Fisher at Central Michigan was the number one draft pick in the country. Uh, this kid, I'm not saying he's, he's top 10, but he's definitely first round, round caliber. And they're going to have a test this week because they play Akron. Uh, and Akron's defended Mac East champs. They lost last week to Miami, so they'll be going to Buffalo. Uh, right. Uh, to, uh, uh, you know, to try and make amends. Uh, another kid we need to look at is uh, who's coming back this week is uh, Mitch uh, Gardagni at, at right. Toledo. Right. Uh, Hudson kid. Yeah, Hudson ball uh, played at Hudson High School. Uh, set out last week under con concussion protocol. Mm -hmm. Got dinged up at Fresno State the week before. But he was dressed and... and, and uh, uh, went through all the pregame activities and everything. Uh, last week, uh, Toledo beat rival Bowling Green. This week, they're at Eastern Michigan. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big game, too. But like I say, he, Gaudagny should be back. And then next week, you know, as you kind of look ahead a little bit, next week, Toledo hosts Buffalo, which mm -hmm. could be a prelude to uh, uh, the MAC championship game in December. So a lot of a lot of good football coming up in the Mid-American Conference and a lot of things to watch going forward.